and welcome to my channel. My name is Anya and in today's video I wanted to vlog a day in the life but I'm not going to do it showing you everything I do. I'm going to do it from the standpoint of my chronic illness, sharing how I manage it, things I do during a day or a week or a month occasionally to make it easier to be me. It's currently 9.30, Home Healthcare has just been here. They help me every weekday morning with making breakfast and lunch. Previously I had to choose between breakfast or washing my face, washing my body, washing, brushing my teeth. I always picked food so it would sometimes be a bit too long in between those things happening but after getting them every single morning pretty much since the end of last year it's been life changing. It's been amazing, I can actually finally brush my teeth regularly, wash my face, get dressed, and I have more energy because I'm not eating the food that makes me sick anymore. They're able to cook the things that I can't regularly cook for myself, but are foods that I should be eating more of because most other foods make me sick. But they have just come and went. I had oatmeal for breakfast with some raspberries in it. I need to go to my doctor's office. That's the first thing on the plan today. My disabled parking placard expires towards the end of the month and I need to apply for a new one or a renewed one and I need a doctor's note but I don't know if I actually need to come and have an appointment or not and it's going to be faster to call them and get the answer that way than sending them a message through the health portal even though I would prefer it. I have auditory processing issues so phone calls are difficult because I don't always understand what the other person is saying but because I kind of need the answer quickly I have to call so I'm going to try and do that now so that that's done and then I'm going to relax in bed watching some YouTube for a couple of hours probably until I get some energy back. Mondays are the hardest day of the week for me because I have a tendency to overdo it on the weekends. So I'm gonna rest a lot today but I do also have to prep for tomorrow. I have a therapy appointment tomorrow and they are really really hard on my body so I need to prep and have everything ready for that. But step one, phone call. It's currently about noon, a little afternoon. It's time for my lunch. Um, if you don't want to see what I'm watching, skip ahead about five seconds. I'm having a salad. So I have lettuce, bell pepper, cucumber, corn, and a dressing. And these are genius. I have had issues with my hands and fine motoric seals. My hands have been very painful if I used them for a long time. And I think it was last year, maybe the year before, I don't remember. I ended up buying these. These are lightweight cutlery, so this is a fork, with a wide, easy to grip handle. And I love it. I have two forks and knife and a large spoon. They were so expensive, so expensive. If you are in Norway, talk to an occupational therapist, apply for the stipend. You can get it once every three year or four years, I believe, for buying these things yourself because these things are not covered by NAV. I bought this. I will leave the website where I bought it in the description box below. It's great. I love it to the point where I'm considering buying more, but they are very expensive, so it's not currently in my budget. I'm going to eat lunch. I've been literally in bed propped up on my pillows watching YouTube for the last two and a bit hours. Scrolling Twitter and just not not doing the best, not having the best morning. But it happens. After lunch, I'm going to refill my pill case. I kind of have to do it today because it's empty. But I also need to take some inventory of all of my meds because I may have to go to the pharmacy. I'm not sure if I actually have enough to fill up my pill case for the entire month of March. But I'm gonna do that, but first I'm going to eat watch some YouTube and just chill. I had lunch, I've also taken the dog out for a bit of a walk. It's now 1pm and I need to refill my pillowcase because it is empty and also take stock of my meds. These are my meds, these are both prescription as well as the supplements I take. I have them organised in a bin underneath my bed so that they're all together and easy to reach. My pillowcase is a fairly cheap one that I bought at a shop I think called Spodshire. It has seven days and every day has one of these little ones that has four compartments. I think these are meant for when, if you take meds more than once a day. I only take mine once a day. The reason I have it is so that I don't have to refill my pill case every single week because when I did that, I hated it, it didn't happen and it just made taking meds much harder. So I bought this once my old pill case got destroyed and I now need to refill it. I don't know that I have enough meds for the entire four weeks here so I'm going to just fill when I can and take note of what I need. I do need to go to the pharmacy this month to pick up I think almost everything so I need to just take note of what I have and refill them. So filling up my pill case I start by taking all of the days 
out of the box and then opening all of them up. That makes it just easier and quicker for when I fill in the meds. I will then start with my omega-3 because they are giant and they take up almost one slot entirely. But I put two of those in every single day and I do it first because otherwise I would not be able to fit that in there. And then move on to my vitamin D, which I take pretty much all year around except for during the summer when I try to be a little bit more outside. But I live very far north and we don't get a lot of sunlight during like half of the year. So my vitamin D is store bought. I then move on to my contraception, which has helped immensely with period pain and the flare ups that I get every single month. It's been a lifesaver. I then have my metazapine, which I take as a sleeping pill, and it's worked really well actually. I can't really fall asleep without help and haven't been able to do that for almost the entire time I've been sick, so I need the help and I get it in the form of metazapine. Finally, the med that I didn't get to film is what I take for my fibromyalgia, which is amyltriptyline or Sorotex, and it has been a lifesaver. It has taken my daily pain from a 7 down to a 4, and I can actually somewhat function now. It's been incredible. I love it. I do never want to stop taking it, pretty much. And that is just what's in my pill case. The only not fun thing about taking meds is the waste this creates. This is everything. I was actually able to fill up my entire pill case. I did not think I had enough. I was worried about this, which is Sartex, is amyltriptyline, is what I take mainly for fibromyalgia. I actually had enough for all four weeks. March starts on a fifth week though at the end, so I'm, I'm gonna have to pick up a little bit more meds, but I'm really pleased that I was able to do that. Now I can chill for a little bit, recycle all of this, and my storage box looks very empty. I do actually still have to go to the pharmacy soon because I'm out of Imodium, which is this one, and I do think when I go I'm gonna just pick up one of everything pretty much so that I have enough through April. It's done. I now feel pretty good. I'm now going to just relax for a little bit. I am gonna have to do the inventory counting. I haven't done that. I have a note on my laptop where I just keep a note of everything after every time I refill my pill case because it's the easiest time to take a note of things. So I'm just gonna update that um, and then write down what I need to potentially pick up once I do go to the pharmacy. So a tiny change of plans. I ended up going to the store as well as the pharmacy to pick up the only med that I am very, very low on, which is one that I don't fill in my pill case because I take it as needed. It's the Imodium, I got it. I'm now flushed and needing a little bit of a break, so I'm gonna take 30 minutes on YouTube probably. Before I make dinner, I'm not sure how long we're going to be able to hold you up here. It's been probably an hour. I've literally been in bed watching YouTube. Try to relax because it was a little bit more than I expected. I was expecting potentially a grocery shop today, but it was it happened a bit sooner than I expected. We currently have guests over. My aunt and cousin is here, so I'm not going to film what I was planning on filming now, which was making dinner and what I do to make that accessible for me. I may do that at some other point because there is a lot of things regarding cooking that I do differently now. Cooking is something that I love doing but it's very hard for me to do which is why I have home health care help me in the mornings. But I'm gonna go make myself dinner and then I'll probably see you again this evening because there are still things that I have to do today regarding my health. And as a bit like predicted, it's a very slow day for me. Last week was winter break and I did a lot of things. My days were full. And this week is going to be the exact opposite. I'm still gonna try and do things, but I have therapy tomorrow, which is pretty intense, and then I have physical therapy on Friday, but I still want to try and edit a video, film a video. But my hand is really weak. I feel like I'm just dropping you lower and lower. I'm gonna put you down, I'm gonna go make food, and I will see you again when I come back to my room. So this isn't the best angle, half of my head is cut off unless I like crunch down. I thought I would talk to you a little bit about how I relax. So I have my bed which is from Ikea. It's a double bed that can be pushed to a day bed. I like it and it has drawers underneath here. But what I tend to do is I prop myself up on pillows so that I'm sitting mostly upright for the majority of it. And then I usually like being under the duvet or under a blanket. I have this. And this is fairly new. I got it last year, I believe. It's also from Ikea. And I really, really like it. It's a tray that I used to hold my laptop, my 
mugs for tea and a bunch of other small knickknacks. I have pens, lip glosses, lip balms, notebooks, meds. I really like it. And this is what I used to watch YouTube. I can also easily write and edit from here. I really, really like it. It is collapsible, but mine is broken. So if I lift it up without holding this in place right here, this leg will fall off. Right, like that. So it is collapsible, you can have it so that you can store it flat. Uh, I broke mine, so you know, be careful if you're getting this from Ikea. It was fairly cheap though, so I don't mind, and I can still use it standing up, which is what I do use it for, so for me, I'm okay with having it like this. But this is just, it's been a game changer for me. In the past, I used to have my laptop just on my lap and it comes much lower it makes my neck do funny things when i have to pay attention or it would mean that i would be sliding further down and not sitting up as well which hurt my back but i have a tray i love it another thing that i have is this this is a pc holder stand thing that you can put to angle it to your knees so it will kind of work like this for the laptop but uh, it's much smaller and it doesn't bring it up as high. I currently use it for when I'm writing So I have my bullet journal here, which is bright yellow But I have this here and I have all of my things here that I use. I have my pens, my pencil My eraser, my washi tapes so that it's actually easier for me to use it this way I don't have to worry about straining my wrist. I have support here and this is also fairly lightweight So it's easy to move around. I tend to just leave it in the bed all the time and I really like it my main goal with this is to put it on my desk once I get my desk chair. I will probably have it on the desk for when I am writing because I don't like writing on things that are flat down. This is a little bit flat but I can angle it which I tend to do a lot. That was the plan. I was going to have this on my desk and this in the bed for when I couldn't leave my bed. I barely leave my bed. I spend most of my time in here and I didn't realise that this was going to work so well for having a space for writing but it does and they've been life changing they've been absolutely incredible i was planning on making a video at some point talking about my mobility aids and stuff but that was just something i wanted to share with you and i have a light on at the moment which is why i'm a little bit weirdly lit my window is open and i have curtains they do a very good job at blocking out light which is why i have them because i try to have them open during the day i don't see a lot of sunlight and especially during the winter we don't get a lot of sunlight either i don't go out that much I'm trying to do it once a day now just a small walk with dog it was rough in the beginning but after a while in the last two or so weeks knowing that my body can handle it has been great because it tells me that physical therapy is working which is awesome but i still try to have a little bit of light in my room so i'll have that open if i can't handle that which happens sometimes i'm okay with it for an hour or two but then i need to lie down in the dark i will draw the curtains turn my ring light off and my ring light is the light i tend to use for my room i have it turned facing the wall so the light is bouncing off the wall i can dim that fairly easily but for me being able to control the light the angle at which i'm sitting sometimes i will actually have to lie flat and also being able to control temperature i don't have an oven in here i prefer it to be a little bit cooler a little bit colder i can easily open the window the one down thing about having the window open is that i live fairly close to a road there is always cars on the road and it's a bit loud but I am going to relax more I do a lot of relaxing in between tasks it's the only way I can get things done and I will probably show you my bullet journal and stuff how I'm gonna prep for tomorrow because I'm gonna do that today because tomorrow is therapy day and therapy day is rough even though I think it's gonna be a lighter therapy session it's still gonna be rough for me so I need to prep for that and I will share with you that one I am actually ready to do that at the moment I am not I need I need to rest so I just filled out my day I had home health care and then I vlogged today called the doctor's office that was the shop and the pharmacy dog had to go to the vet today unfortunately she's a little unwell not too bad she has a yeast infection in her ear and then some stomach problems but she seems to be good and then I walk to the dog and then before bed I'm going to do two audiobook chapters. I try to do a couple of chapters every day. I'm currently reading, if I can pick it up here, The Amber Spyglass. I'm not sure if you can see on my phone. I am on chapter 12. I have read the books before but it's been a couple of years and since I'm watching this show I also wanted to read the books again but I use 
a bullet journal. I've started it this year. It's been a little bit hit and miss with actually using it. But my main goal is I just want to keep track of what I am doing. Write down a couple of goals. So for me, daily walks and reading and then filming videos. I have space for one more if I feel like I need one. And then just keeping track of my sleep. And on the page behind this, that's actually one of my more important ones because here I keep track of my habits in the top one here. So I have brushing my teeth morning and evening, washing my face morning and evening, makeup, pills, walk, physical therapy at home and Duolingo. And then I have my symptom tracker at the bottom which takes up a lot of space. But this is something I wanted to do with my bullet journal this year because I deal with chronic illnesses as this video would show. But sometimes it's hard for me to notice when I'm in a flare and what behaviours causes a flare. So I've written down my more common symptoms and stuff along the side here and I take them off when they happen and some of them are, are daily uh, others aren't that way if there is something that happens I can see what day it happens and then I can go to that actual day and see okay what did I do that day or the day before if I am feeling a little bit worse one day or another so I'm gonna fill this out now I'm gonna brush my teeth I have washed my face. I'm going to do it again soon. I'm going to take my pills in a minute. I did go for a walk. I didn't do PT, but I did do a linger. Symptoms. Fatigue. Diarrhea. The nausea has not been too bad today. No brain fog. A little bit of hand pain. No leg pain. A little bit of stomach pain and back pain as usual. No headache, no vomiting, no muscle weakness, no speech issues, no pain. I do have my period, which is fun. Never is, by the way. Let me see. I took two modium and that was it. I don't normally plan days in advance because I never know how I am going to be when I wake up. I normally plan the morning of. Of course, I have therapy tomorrow, so I'm not sure I'm going to do much else other than watch YouTube and play Animal Crossing and maybe read a little. Something that I didn't do today, I kind of regret not doing it, is picking up something at the grocery store. That is comfort food. But I do know we have some chips in the freezer, so if anything I can have that for dinner. But I normally don't have an appetite. After therapy, I'm starting therapy, hopefully soon actually. I'm sort of in, in assessment at the moment for potential PTSD. I don't think I'm going to be very useful for anything tomorrow. Are you so talkative tonight? The dog is being a bit cuddly, but I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see me because I am going to end the video. Are you? Are you? So it's currently about eight something in the evening. I am about to take my meds. I am gonna change into my pajamas, take the bed down, okay, pull the pillows down and lie down. I normally take my meds around 8.30, somewhere between then and nine usually I try to, sometimes it's later. I aim to get them in before 11, otherwise I'm not gonna sleep until 3 a.m. I have an alarm on, it rings every day, <laughs> and I'm not allowed to turn it off until I have actually ingested the meds, because I will forget. I've taken meds daily now for about eight years, and I always take them in the evenings. I started with sleeping pills, and it was just easier to take them everything when things started being added onto that. And I will absolutely forget to take them if I turn my alarm off before I take them. And I have done on multiple occasions. It's fine for the most part to forget a day. I usually remember it uh, either when I wake up the next morning or when it's 2 a.m. and I'm still not asleep. The last thing I want to talk about today is my little water bottle. I have the camel back eddy water bottle so it has a straw i used to have just a regular plastic water bottle that i had to tilt to drink but i decided to buy this this year after breaking my third one and also i don't have to tilt these these can stand up and i try to drink a lot of water and i can't always carry a glass so i just learned that a water bottle is better and i end up getting two so this is the sheer black color and then i have a purple one with flowers and they're really nice I really like him. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I didn't make it too long. I will probably do some more videos like this vlogging with my chronic illness or disability. Well, chronic illness and disability, they are the same thing for me. In mind sharing how I adapt and things that I now do differently mm. compared to when I wasn't disabled. Now I'm gonna go to bed. I am exhausted. I am also stressed for tomorrow and therapy. It's gonna be fine. The people I talk to, they are lovely and even though it is scary for me they, they do their best to not make it scary thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed if you like these vlogs if you like this content please do subscribe to watch more videos and i'll see you again soon bye